Hi there, it's Eleanor Sweeney here from Loon Dog Grooming. <laughs> I'm going to be assisted by Timmy today who's not looking overly keen. Uh, we're going to just show you a little bit more information about um, clipping toenails. So I know this is something that people get really concerned about, particularly on black nails. My advice would always be the best way of keeping the nails short is by concrete walking and lots of it. So with the current lockdown situation and you're allowed your daily exercise, um, walking on concrete, a lot of the parks are shut, the concrete will help grind the nail, nails down. Also, if after they have been clipped, either the, you, if you've been to the groomers or you do it yourself, um, when you walk on concrete, it just keep, takes off the sort of edges and keeps them nicely, nicely ground down so they're not sharp. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different um, techniques and talk through some. First thing to do is again get the dog into a comfortable position for you to work at. So a table or a workbench against a wall or a door. Um, so, so that it's non-slip either put a towel underneath them or a mat, a yoga mat or something like that underneath them. This is a non-slip table. Okay, good boy Tim. Secure the dog. You don't want to be leaving them at all even for a second because they will try to get off and then they could injure themselves. So at home you might secure them with either a collar and lead or um, if you've got somebody else there get them to give, hold you, give you a hand and hold them. Remember to have all the kit near to hand, you don't want to be moving away. Um, so today I'm going to show you the nail clippers. In a nail file. So these small ones um, are actually made for like guinea pigs and rabbits. Um, they're both scissor style. So these are for the smaller dog. So if you've got a little dog, a chihuahua, Jack Russell, uh, with sort of quite thin nails, Yorkshire Terriers, these are really good for. And then these are a slightly bigger one um, with a bit more grip on them. You need to be careful with these because they've got a spring-loaded section in the middle and um, what people often do is just nip that bit of their finger inside if you hold it too too high up and that could be quite painful so make sure you are holding them on the grip okay right, just stand up to good boy also have to hand something that just in case you did catch the quick so the quick is the blood vessel that runs in the nail and I'll show you, try and show you on there, Tim, where that is. So I use silver nitrate pen, um, which is from uh, Sophie at Animal Love Vets. Animal, yeah, <laughs> Animal Love First Aid for pets. So it's a little silver nitrate pen. You can also use things like potassium permanganate, but at home, if you haven't got anything, um, I would suggest some corn flour or flour, so I have a little bowl of that handy. Okay, so I'm just going to try and show you Tim's legs. So Tim has a bit of arthritis, so we're just going to be a little bit careful with him. So when you're moving the front leg around, good boy, you don't want to be taking it out to the side. You want to move it in line with the, the joints. So he has, let's pop it down, good boy. If you just bring it a bit closer. So he has sort of some beigey coloured nails here and then a couple of quite dark ones. So the dark ones you can't see the quick. The creamy coloured one, you can see where there's a dark patch about there. <laughs> about there. And that's the end of the quick. I'm just going to lose them. Okay. So I'll try and just do... So when you clip in, you want to be able to see where both edges are on the on the nail. All right, Tim. Oh no, lie down. So you can see where the dark patch ends, and I'm not going to go anywhere near that. I'm going to take off at the end, and I'm going to go straight across it. Okay, and just take the end off first. So particularly with black nails, that's the best thing to do. If we just look again, okay, okay, Tim, we'll go that way, okay. 
No, you're moving around again. All right. So I can see both ends, both sides of the clippers. I'm supporting this pad with my finger underneath. 